Hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to talk about why Damon Salvatore never wanted to become a vampire. Pretty shocking words for me to speak, let alone for you to hear, am I right? I mean, the Damon Salvatore, one of the most unforgiving, brutal vampires to ever exist. And we've all seen some nasty vampires over the course of the eight seasons of The Vampire Diaries and even the five seasons of the originals. Damon fully and truly embraced being a vampire. He loved it the immortality, the bloodlust and in particular holding someone's life in his hands gave Damon such a sense of power that nothing could match it. However the reason Damon was even considering becoming a vampire was love and the reason he gave up being a vampire was love. So Damon was a little love bug who just wanted to feel wanted by basically anyone who looked like or resembled the Petrova doppelganger. Okay, that's a bit harsh. Sorry, Damon. But anyway, let's take a look into the reasons why Damon Salvatore never wanted to become a vampire in the first place. Okay guys, I'm going to be basing this video off the information from the TV series. I'm still reading the book, so bear with me. However, with that being said, my love of this series began with the show, so that's what I'll be basing today's video off. Damon Salvatore, along with his brother Stefan, had an excellent relationship for the majority of their then lives, except they had one small issue. They were both in love with the same woman, Catherine Pierce, aka Katerina Petrova, aka bitch. Yeah, that's what she was guys, a bitch. Nothing more, nothing less. Catherine had been a vampire for well over two centuries at this point, hiding from Klaus Michelson in the small town of Mystic Falls. She had gotten pretty comfy there and had almost everyone fooled that she was indeed a nice young woman trying to make her way in the world. Step up, Damon and Stefan Salvatore, who had both met Catherine and both began what started as separate friendships before the three enjoyed each other's company as the competitiveness between the brothers began to grow. Catherine, being the inconsiderate, self-centered individual she was, decided to court both men and play them off each other. Now, despite their love for Catherine, the brothers differed greatly in terms of how they viewed the situation with her. Stefan's feelings were genuine, but they weren't as strong as Damon's. Catherine had to compel Stefan to do a lot of things. Allowing her to drink his blood was one of them. It was quite difficult to determine just how much of Stefan's love was real, however, this had Catherine more intrigued to win him over. It frustrated her that she couldn't wrap him around her finger without the help of compulsion. Even Stefan said himself years later, he didn't know what was real and what wasn't, but he did feel something for her at the very least, and that was a fact. Now Damon on the other hand, he was the complete opposite of his brother in terms of his feelings. His love grew stronger, he wanted to be around Catherine all the time, it almost, actually, it did become an obsession. Damon stopped living for himself and instead centered his world around her and she knew it, which means she knew she didn't have to make very much effort. Damon knew exactly what Catherine was. She told him all her vampiric secrets and her past and he wanted to become a vampire to spend eternity with her. As I said, Stefan had to be compelled not only to let her drink from him but also to not be afraid of what Catherine was. He was a lot younger than Damon, don't forget. Damon wanted the life Catherine was willing to offer. He willingly drank her blood to begin his transition while Stefan drunk against his will. Still, compulsion or not, they had both considered consumed vampire blood. Everything went up in the air when Catherine was captured and presumably killed in the church fire. Both Damon and Stefan were killed by their own father by shotgun and awoke feeling the undesirable hunger and lust for blood. However, this was not how it was supposed to pan out. The whole reason Damon even considered becoming a vampire was for Catherine and Catherine alone. He was so desperately in love with her that he was originally willing to share her with Stefan. After believing she had died, he seen no reason to continue living. He was going to let himself die instead of transitioning. Damon had no self-purpose. It was all Catherine. Everything that came with becoming a vampire was something he wanted to learn from and experience with her. It's a very different Damon from the one we see at the beginning of the show. Stefan, who as I mentioned, was much younger, far less mature and he was quite impulsive. He fed on his father and he did transition. He described the feeling of drinking blood as indescribable, euphoric, unbelievable. He had incredible speed, superhuman strength, eagle eye sight, 
Stefan was transfixed on his new abilities and he couldn't wait a second longer in order to have his brother experience the same thing. For while Damon truly loved Catherine, Stefan's real love was for his brother. He wanted to share eternity with him by his side as brothers. Stefan rushed Damon to drink and Damon, feeling like he had nothing left to lose, drank and became a vampire. The truth of the matter here is that Damon would have willingly died but after realising what he had become, what his brother had enthusiastically condemned him to, and the fact that Catherine wanted Stefan to become a vampire too, proving that she didn't only love Damon, caused him to become so enraged with hurt and jealousy and anger that he turned on Stefan and promised him an eternity of misery. Even when Damon discovered that Catherine had been locked in the tomb, he waited for her. He never loved another woman. He tried for 145 years to free her from the tomb, doing whatever was necessary and hurting whoever necessary in order to get her out. This was his second lease of life. Catherine was still alive and he had all the time in the world as he was immortal to get her out. Damon's whole persona changed for good when he realised Catherine was never in the tomb at all and had indeed been free the whole time. She knew where he was, she knew he was alive, but she never came for him, she never contacted him. Damon is so ruthless when he confronts Anna and Pearl about the woman he loves, reluctantly Anna admits that she knew all along that Catherine wasn't trapped in the tomb and goes on to explain that the last time she saw her was in Chicago. In 1983, which is quite recent when you're talking about a vampire's lifespan. She knew where you were Damon, Anna says, in easily one of the most heartbreaking moments of the series. She didn't care. It hit Damon pretty quickly that the person he had loved for a century and a half did not in fact love him in return and by the looks of her actions or non-actions never did. For me this was the first moment I actually felt truly sorry for Damon as I'd spent so much time hating him and loathing his existence in this show. It was quite a sobering moment for the older Salvatore brother. Everything he had ever known revolved around him reuniting with Catherine one day and now it was all for nothing. Damon was literally starting from scratch. He almost gave up his life for someone who didn't love him. He actually did. He gave up his human life. He ended up hating Catherine and he never forgave her for the hurt she caused him, especially her painful reminder that it was always Stefan, her one true love. There you have it everyone, that is my video on why Damon Salvatore never wanted to become a vampire in the first place. It's still crazy to believe that he almost allowed himself to die, which means he wouldn't get the charismatic, unforgivable, ruthless Salvatore brother that we see on screen and read about in the books. I want you to comment down below what videos you'd like to see, if you're more into explanation videos like this one, or if you want more profile lore videos like the life of characters, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching, have a great day, please consider hitting that like button to help the video grow, and click that subscribe button if you want to join the vampire folklore family. I'll see you all soon.